Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Virgo. How's everyone doing? I have a new look here. All right, a new way to do things, a new spread. It's temporary. I'm doing some renos. Uh, so I have a video up. Check out my playlist. I'll tell you all the changes. I'm taking things to the next level. But for now, I'm doing things uh, a little different because I'm renovating the room I usually do uh, my readings in. All right, so... Yeah, it's been a lot of work, definitely. Actually, I best not put that out till I meditate your energy. So yeah, so welcome back to all my subscribers. Welcome, welcome to the new viewers. Let's see what's going on here for Virgo. Virgo, love energy in the cards. What does Virgo need to know about their love life? Virgo, what do you need to know? Let's move this little candle here. Let's get some light i was wanted to make it dark with just candles but it makes everything so blurry all right virgo love energy in the cards what do they need to know about their love life here we go Ooh, there you are you're moving forward here with the knight of pentacles calmly peacefully okay yeah <laughs> Taking your time. You're trying to, you're working out something here. You're trying to go about something the right way. Uh, but you are moving forward. You're just slow, trying to make a decision. Uh, you want things to work out the way, you know, the right way. So, you know, you're paying attention to every little detail. It's a, it's a process, and that's way it, the way it is for you, Earth Signs, right? Yeah, there's something changing, something here. You're going through a lot of changes. Yeah, you're taking your time. You want things to move forward slowly. So I think you're going to make somebody some kind of an offer here. And you want to kind of go with the flow, see how things evolve. Yeah, you want to leave something in the past. I feel like there was an ending. Something ended in the past and you walked away, turned your back on a bunch of drama, a bunch of emotions, emotional drama, that kind of thing. And you're going off, whatever this is, you've gone through some changes and you're ready to go out, turn your back on... Uh, Whatever happened in the past, and you're going off to find those other two cups. You're going off to find that ten of cups, highest emotional fulfillment. You're just going about it slowly. Yeah, look at that. Oops, we don't want that card because that card is the card that comes with the deck. And we have the high priestess. Look at that. Yeah, you're trusting your intuition here, okay? <sighs> <laughs> you're digging deep you know all your little secrets inside here you're working out the details keeping things to yourself i don't think you're telling a lot of people what's going on with you okay kind of keeping things quiet not making a lot of fuss you, all you do one thing you do know though is you need to pay attention to detail and i really get that okay every little detail counts here for you I know a lot of people are like, oh, this earth signs, they move so slow. But you know what? <laughs> they, they, There's a method to their madness, right? Sometimes we all need to slow down. All right, let's see what's going on. The moon. Yeah, so you may have had some secrets in the past. Something changed, something ended, and you had to walk away, or someone walked away from you. Cancer energy maybe here. Maybe some Pisces energy as well. Yeah, look at that. I feel as though... You, you, you've been through a lot of confusion, a lot of delusion, things like that. Uh, and I feel like you have been keeping it to yourself. You've been quite emotional. Uh, you're trying to walk away from it. You're trusting your intuition uh, to do with secrets. Okay, we've got this moon energy. Let's see what comes up beside it because it could change or enhance a little bit here there we go king of cups yeah cancer energy possibly you might be uh moving towards a cancer taking your time ready to make them an offer but you want to go about it right because you want things you know to turn in your favor here you want there to create this change you want to see how things evolve and i think it's taking you time because you've been going through a lot of changes but you're ready to whatever it is that's happened you've you've turning your back on it 
feel like this King of Cups may have walked away from you possibly in the past as well, or you, them. But here they come, all loved up. This is somebody who keeps their emotions to themselves. They kept their feelings secret. This person didn't tell you how they felt, okay? They kept everything hidden, and they were deluding themselves, I can tell you that. <laughs> They may have had secrets too. You may have felt that they had secrets and walked away from them because they weren't sharing their feelings. They kept everything bottled up. Uh, the King of Cups can be quite moody and broody uh, when they aren't able to express themselves emotionally and they keep it inside, right? So I'm sort of sensing that here. It's time to leave that behind. It's time to leave this. Uh, I feel like You've gone through a lot of changes or it's this person and this very well could be you coming up as the King of Cups. You're ready to love. Uh, you've emer you've evolved. You've changed. Uh, you're leaving. You're going off to get that Ten of Cups. You're going off to find them and I think you found them with the King of Cups here. Uh, you found, yeah, I think in the past you kept your feelings completely hidden. How you felt about somebody. I don't know why, but I feel like it's you. It's all leading to you, Virgo. Yeah, you're ready to take control. You've got your emotions under control. I think you're ready to take control. I think you've gone within and realized maybe you were too controlling or you were trying to control your emotions too much. And it created an ending between you and somebody. They could have been a Pisces, could have been a Cancer, uh, could have been a Scorpio. Very strong Cancer energy here. Oof. Yeah, look at that Ten of Cups. Somebody's ready to put their cups out on the table with the Ten of Cups. Somebody is really ready. Uh, you're going to take control of all of this. You have gained power and control over your emotions. Um, you're ready to charge full speed ahead. I think in the past you were kind of internally going in two directions, okay, because uh, there was delusions and you were, you know, with the moon, there was confusion about how you felt about someone or where you wanted to go. Uh, but you've, I feel like you've done a 360. You, you've really uh, gone through a lot of changes. I think you're ready to put those cups out there. You're ready for love. Ready for that Ten of Cups. Yeah, happily ever after. You're ready to take control of your happily ever after. You're going off, you're going, you're chasing after someone. You've been working through the details and taking your time because you want to do it right. It's been a slow process with the world. It's been, it's been like evolution, right? So if there's somebody who is waiting for you, <laughs> yeah, it's required a lot of patience. It very well could be a, a water sign that you're you're moving towards as well they could be they could be a tarot card reader they could be uh they could be a pisces just i'm feeling this is very much energy but you could have these elements in your chart as well but yeah there are lots of changes this chariot's back it disappeared for a while now it's back again it's like wow the fool, ready to take that leap of faith. Yeah, you're ready to take control of the situation. Take a leap of faith into a new beginning. And I, I actually feel as though um, you're ready to invest in love. You're ready to invest in love. Yeah, you're going to be patient and see how your patience pay off here. And I feel like they have, you've had to be patient with yourself or somebody else has been waiting for you to come and invest and they've been very patient. They could be an Aries. Uh, this person, yeah, they might take a leap of faith towards you if you come in like this, but they also might be off on a new path. Maybe you're wondering if you should invest in this again. Maybe this person's gone off in another direction. Yeah, you're trying to make a decision. This person, yeah, they may have made, you were wondering if they, you know, have made the decision to go off and have a new beginning elsewhere. But I feel as though, yeah, wow. It's going to be different for each and every one of you on this one for sure. Definitely, yeah. You're trying to make a decision whether you should take this leap of faith towards them. Maybe you should invest in this, uh, invest in love. It almost seems like invest in love. I'm not even, you know, other than Aries, Cancer, and Pisces, which for some reason a lot of you, I feel like it's your energy, but... I think it's just like you want to go full steam ahead now that you've decided that you're, you've gone through a lot of changes and you're ready to go get that 
it's taken you a bit too, right? It's been a process of inner healing with the high priestess, inner knowing. I don't think you've been telling a lot of people what you've been going through. It's been very confusing. And you've realized, I think, with this moon energy, uh, you're just very much in love. This is like that lunatic in love kind of thing. You're ready now. Yeah, you just... Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Here we go. Virgo energy. One more card for Virgo. Ooh, the truth. Yeah, you want to tell the truth. You want a victory. So I think you're just trying to balance everything right now. Balance what you're going to say, what you want to do, because it's been this has been quite a long process uh, of you changing, uh, evolving, going off to get that love. You're going off to get that person that you love. You want this person to take a leap of faith. But you're trying to decide if you should invest because you're afraid they may have gone off in another direction. And I think it's if if that's the truth, it's going to hurt. It's going to cut like a knife, okay? That's kind of how I'm feeling. So, you know, you want to clear things up with this person or you want to talk to them. Um, with this Ace of Swords, this is a clear new beginning. You want to make sure the path is clear uh, before you invest, okay? So you're trying to make this decision. There you are. Uh, with that hermit energy yeah you're trying very hard to uh you're you've been doing a lot of soul searching a lot of inner healing you might be watching this person all uh, right maybe on social media it doesn't have to be watching i know a lot of people are like i don't have social media well you don't have to okay this is a personal reading it's actually for a lot of people so i have to say it because that is definitely a scenario in this day and age uh, yeah, I think you're watching somebody um, and you're soul searching within yourself too and you now realize that you really love this person. Uh, you want to know where they are, if they're with anyone. I do think you've been keeping to yourself. You are single. You've been spending a lot of time alone through this process and it has dragged on. I think you're watching this person to see if they're in a, in a commitment. You've been soul searching, thinking about commitment, marriage. Um, this foundation you have with this person. I think you want to move forward. You're worried this person has moved. You're watching to see if they've moved away. You don't know. Time's gone on. Yeah, I think you want to move forward calmly and peacefully. You're worried this person's gone off and had a new beginning. So it's throwing you off balance when you think about it. So it, you just it's like you just sort of stop. But um, you're searching for the truth here. You want to know if this person, you, you wonder if, um, you know, they're still waiting for you. Yeah, you just, you really do. You want to go see this person. I feel like some of you are driving by this person's house. I think you're planning to do a drive-by. I'm sorry, but I see this hermit watching, watching a house with the four of wands. And then I see the six of swords, travel, movement. I think you want to, yeah. You're worried this person has moved and you don't know where they are. I think you're searching. I, I'm sorry, but I feel like it's social media stalking a bit. Uh, not in a bad way. Just trying to figure out where you are, what you're up to. Um, or it's it's you watching them. Pardon me. What am I thinking? Yeah, they're what. This is you watching someone else because I feel like this is you. Um, feeling loved up about somebody and uh you want to know how you know where they are if they're still in the same home if they've moved i think you may have drove by their house yeah you want some clarity you're searching for truth and clarity you want to clear things up with this person you want to get things moving it's like the king of swords he gets up in his head he gets going on his strategy um and, and uh, he starts to become very clear as he analyzes the heck out of everything. And then, then he, once he gets clear and he's made that decision, he executes his plan. He takes action, all right, with the King of Swords. It's very swift. And I think that what you want to do is make somebody an offer. Uh, you want to reciprocate. Uh, you want to give this person something fairly generous. You want to reciprocate generously to somebody. You want a new beginning. Uh, I feel like you've got some um, regret and some remorse about the way things were in the past or you're worried that they, I think you're worried they've moved and you won't be able to find them. You won't be able to talk to them again. Uh, you want this new beginning. Yeah. 
Oh, now we see some player activity. Yeah, you have some regrets and some remorse. You want to fix it. You're trying to figure out how to fix this. You're trying to figure out where they are, what they're up to, who they're with, if they're living in the same home. You've gone through a lot of changes. It's like your whole world is completely flipped around. I think when this person walked away from you, it turned your world upside down. Yeah, I do feel that. And I feel like you just, you turned your back on it at first and you internalized it. And uh, it has to do with secrets, things that were kept hidden. And a lot of it was your emotional. You weren't emotional. Um, but you were fooling yourself. You were a lunatic in love for this person. And you're feeling loved up and ready to make an offer. You're in control of everything. You just want to charge for it. I do feel like you... Yeah, look, you want to charge... Here, it's been in my hand the whole time. I didn't even look down. <laughs> it's hilarious. Anyway, Knight of Swords. Yeah, you want to charge forward with this person. Okay. Yeah, you want to end the burdens between you. And it's been weighing on your shoulders heavy. Whatever it has happened, this lack of reciprocity. Uh, and the, this isn't just about giving someone gifts, spending money on them. It's about reciprocating emotions, details, what you're up to, sharing of yourself. It's everything, okay? Uh, there was a lack of that. You didn't do that in the past for whatever reason. Uh, you've been working through this, though. Okay, yeah, it was unhealthy. You had some unhealthy behaviors. It created uh, unhealthy behavior. But I think you're obsessed with this person now. We, now we've got some Capricorn energy. I think you're obsessed with them. And uh, you really want to rush forward. You're anxious and in a hurry. And uh, Capricorn, Aries, we have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, big time. King of Wands energy too. Yeah, this. I feel like you're ready to take action. Um, you're very passionate about this. You have the willpower and the stamina to do this. And you will see this through. You're going to be very hands-on. I think you want to put some work and effort into this person to fix this. You're willing to do it. Uh, you want to see it through. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, and you may be in your person of interest. This person that you're in love with. Uh, that you've now realized. And... Uh, you want this victory no matter what, though, and uh, you're willing to work for this. Your person of interest could be an entrepreneur as well. They could be very charismatic, very attractive, sexy, very hardworking. Uh, they may work in a creative industry like the arts or anything, be an entrepreneur. It's King of Wands is very much an entrepreneurial kind of person. Uh, yep, there's love here. There's love, and there you are. So, holy, yeah, you're, you're ready. You're feeling, you've taken control of something. You've worked through a process. You've put the hard work in on yourself. And you want to do that with your love life. You're ready for this. Uh, you're this king of pentacles energy. There you are. Yeah, this all could be you. You're a business owner, entrepreneurial. You work hard. But now you want to put that same kind of effort that you have done in the past uh, on your work. Uh, you may not all be a business owner, but you want to put that effort into your love life now, I feel. So you can flip this, people, if you wish, okay? Uh, I'm reading it the way I see it, and uh, because I felt really forced to, the way the cards were coming out. So you want to heal this energy, all right? You want to heal, all right? So we got the Sagittarius energy, so somebody's got Sagittarius in their chart, uh, this is, you're going to temper all your emotions, you've got your balance back, you've gone through a lot of healing. Um, whenever I see the temperance, I also see somebody who's got one foot on the ground, one foot in the water. Uh, I feel like it's like you want to um, come in and test this a little bit, okay? But you're trying to balance everything. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this other person. Uh, I feel like there is good balance between you and you know it, okay? Uh, you've suddenly become very clear about it. Uh, but you're hoping this person will invest so I think you're being very patient, and I think you know you're going to have to be very patient if you move towards this person. You're going to have to very much get your balance with the Two of Pentacles at the bottom here. This person may have gone off. You might have been juggling in the past, but I'm not seeing a lot of that. I just feel as though it's like you weren't ready for love. You didn't share emotions. They walked away, and now it's like you want to move into the future. You've gone off to find this person, uh, this love. Uh, you were deluding yourself. You were delusional. You love them. King of Cups, you know, and ready to take control and move it. There's there's total chemistry between you. I feel like you want to heal this situation between you. 
Uh, I think you've healed yourself internally. Um, you're tempering everything. You're trying to temper your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings. And you maybe in the past you were doing it too much. You were too slow. Um, you were moving too slow. But it was a process you needed to go through. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Quite lovely. Quite lovely. So... Yeah. You're the one who's going to take control. And uh, I feel like because you work a lot, you need to have a very balanced life. And that might have been the reason why things weren't evolving and moving forward with this person. And they wa ended up walking away because things just weren't moving. And uh, it was moving too slow. But you have changed your mind. You've done a 360. So it's like uh, with the chariot, you've completely spun in circles. And off you go back towards that person before they get away. But you really do need to have balance. You're trying to balance everything before you move forward uh, because you want this victory. Yeah, so I feel like this person's going to have trouble, uh, your person of interest, uh, whoever they are making this decision. Um, all right, because they also want a victory if you come forward. They want to, you know, they want this to be a clear new beginning. Everything has to be cleared up. The truth needs to be spoke. Uh, anything that needs to go, needs to go. It needs to be cut out. So let me grab some surrender cards. Yeah, you're really ready to put the work in. And I think you put the work into yourself. And now you're ready to put it into your love life and your emotional state, your emotional being. Uh, I think you're ready uh, to share your emotions. You're not going to turn your back on, on when things get emotional in this relationship. That's what happened in the past. All right, so surrender your desire to control. Yeah, we got King of Pentacles, uh, King of Wands are both very controlling energies. They both like to be in control, they like to have things go their way. So you're having to surrender that, heal it. You're going to try to uh, be more patient. You're going to try to temper all that stuff and balance it out, okay? You do need to have some control, I feel, because if you are a business owner or you work a lot, uh, you may work in finance as well. Um, so I feel some of you work, you make a lot of money, you work a lot, you're really working on those pentacles, you want to hold on to them, you very much like to control them and delegate where they go. Um, it may be something creative as well that brings in a lot of money. All right. Surrender your desire to control. Surrender to spirit. Yeah, your spirit's guiding you. You're surrendering to this. You feel like this part, this is your person. Um, you may have gotten very spiritual, maybe had some spiritual healing as well uh, to let a lot of things go. You've trusted in spirit to guide you uh, through this. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Surrender to prayer. Yeah, maybe you've been praying. Uh, maybe you've been talking to somebody and going through. Uh, it could be meditation, okay? Some people pray, some people meditate. Yeah, surrender to it and praying for this to heal, uh, praying that uh, this situation could balance out. Um, it's definitely all about emotions and love, being able to express it uh, when you're in love with somebody. Yeah, surrender frustration. You need to let go of being frustrated with yourself and with others and be more patient. I think you're in a hurry in a lot of ways to rush towards this person and... Uh, very anxious to move it forward quickly. Surrender your attachment to the results. Yeah, so in other words, you're going to have to be patient. Uh, keep your balance. There will be decisions to make in this process. But I do feel like you want to take a leap of faith. You want to do it in a balanced manner because you want victory. And um, But I, I think you're very much worried that this person's gone off on a new path. You may have been juggling in the past. You might have had a couple of people, all right? You were going in two different directions with the chariot. But I, And I do, you know, you weren't fully invested in anybody, but I think you're very, you weren't invested in the love part, the emotion part, but I think you're ready now. Uh, you You can't delude yourself anymore. You're that king of cups. Ready for the love. Surrender your belief in scarcity, feeling like you don't have enough. Yeah, see, feeling like you couldn't put that love out there. You weren't getting enough love. Um, yeah, you need to let go of all those thoughts. Stop surrendering the outcome. I think you miss this person, whoever they are. Uh, you, maybe you felt like you didn't have enough to be generous. You didn't have enough to reciprocate. Maybe you didn't feel like you were capable of sharing emotions or anything for that matter. 
surrender to your soul's path yeah i think you know this person is your soulmate and i think you're going to surrender to that i think you're going on that path towards love towards your soulmate i think you know that uh, i think through this journey through this change and this evolution that you're ready for it and uh, you're going to let this go surrendering to your soul's path you know what you need to do so I really feel like in the past you were very much hanging on to your money, maybe not reciprocating, doing anything. Uh, you weren't, and I don't think it's just money. I think it was emotions too. You didn't share anything with this person, and they simply walked away. And uh, yeah, I think you're ready now. You just you've you've come through all of this. Uh, this is quite amazing, really, for anybody who is going through this. Any of you Virgos, but this is also you can flip this energy um totally okay it's all right to do that just don't flip the story back and forth and all over <laughs> it's not your story it's not your story yeah surrender to drama so yeah don't don't allow this to be all drama don't create drama okay don't get yourself involved in drama maybe that's what happened there was some drama with this person and you turned your back on all this emotional drama and walked away and maybe that's what happened it turned into dra 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 drama because you didn't share your feelings or share anything or disclose anything with this person you weren't reciprocating equally uh, or maybe they weren't reciprocating to you and you know you can flip this so all right, everybody, I wish you the best. Lovely reading. I feel like somebody's really uh, uh, dealt with a lot and gone through a lot of changes, like their whole world is cha is changing, and I feel like it's going to be the positive. There's a victory here with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's a whole new path, a whole new beginning, and I feel like it's going to take a bit of work to balance it out. There will be a little juggling necessary uh, to, to get this to work, okay? But you will, you know, because that's the issue is you got to, you work a lot, a lot of you. I feel like this is specific for a few people who are business owners and work a lot. And they have a hard time juggling love and relationships. But I think you're ready to take the leap and give it a try because you know you have to. All right, you're going to have to try juggling your work and your love life. I feel like in the past you felt you couldn't do that. But you, this person's getting away. So, all right, you don't want them to go off on a new beginning I feel like they haven't quite yet to be honest I think they're on the verge and they're just about to make that decision to cut this whole thing out but I'm hoping you get there in time go Virgo go all right take care of everybody wish you the best comment away let me know how it's going and I'll see you next week bye for now